Chapter 10, The Forest of Waters. Due to my growing interest in the colony's nutrition-related processes, Lysias gave me an invitation. Let's go to the colony's great water reservoir. You'll observe some interesting things there. You'll see that water is essential for almost everything in our transition settlement. He had aroused my curiosity, and I eagerly accompanied him. When we arrived at a broad corner of the public square, my kind friend added, Let's wait for the air bus. I had scarcely gotten over my surprise at his remark when a large crowded vehicle approached, floating about 15 feet above the ground. I examined it closely as it descended to us like an elevator. It was unlike any vehicle I had ever seen before. It was very long, appeared to be made of a highly flexible material, and seemed to be connected to invisible wires because it had a large number of antenna on its roof. Later, my observations were confirmed when I visited the large workshops in traffic and transportation services. Lysias didn't give me any time to ask questions. We climbed in, sat down on comfortable seats, and went on our way in silence. I felt shy, like anyone would feel among strangers. We were traveling so fast that we couldn't make out the details of any of the buildings we passed along the way. The distance was not short, for it was only about 40 minutes, including brief stops every few miles, that Lysias invited me with a calm smile to get off the airbus. The scenery in front of me was of sublime beauty. The forest was in full bloom, and the fresh air was embalmed with an intoxicating fragrance. It was all an extraordinary gift of color and mellow light. A large river wound its way leisurely between luxuriant grassy banks sprinkled with blue flowers. The water ran by so peacefully, so crystalline, that it seemed tinted in sky blue, mirroring the color of the firmament. Wide pathways cut through the green landscape. Leafy trees were planted at regular intervals along them, offering friendly shade like pleasant shelters in the light of the comforting sun. Fancifully shaped benches invited one to rest. Noticing my admiration, Lysias explained, We are in the forest of waters, and it is one of the most beautiful regions around Nasalar. It is one of the favorite meeting places for lovers who come here to exchange beautiful vows of love and fidelity for their future experiences on earth. This last remark raised a series of questions in my mind, but Lysias gave me no chance to ask what he had meant by it. Pointing to a building of enormous proportions, he explained, that is the colony's great waterworks. All the water of the Blue River, which we see over there, is absorbed into huge compartments for distribution. The water needed for all the activities of the colony departs from here. Then it converges below the Ministry of Regeneration as a river once again and flows along its ordinary course towards the great ocean of substances invisible to the earth. Noticing that I was truly surprised, he added, Water here has a different density. It is much lighter and purer, almost fluidic. Gazing at the magnificent buildings in front of me, I asked, Which ministry controls the distribution? Actually, that is one of the few material services performed by the Ministry of Divine Union, explained Lysias. What do you mean? I asked, not knowing how to reconcile the two ideas. My attendant smiled and replied, On earth, almost no one really gives the importance of water a second thought. In Nasalar, however, we know much more about it. In the religious circles of the planet, people are taught that the Lord created water. Well, it is logical that every service that has been created needs effort and work to keep it in good order. In this spirit city, we have learned to be thankful to the Father and his divine collaborators for such a gift. Our better understanding of water enables us to know that it is one of the most powerful vehicles for fluids of any nature. Here it is used especially as medicine or as food. 
in the Ministry of Assistance, there are departments entirely devoted to mixing pure water with certain elements derived from sunlight and from spiritual magnetism. In most of the areas of our extensive colony, our diet is based on such a system. But since only the ministers of divine union hold the highest standard of spiritualization among us, they have been allotted the task of magnetizing the waters of the Blue River for use by all the inhabitants of Nasalar. After they perform their initial purification process, various departments carry out the specialized work of endowing the water with nutritive and healing substances. When the waters join together again, far on the other side of this forest, the river flows away from our region, bearing out spiritual qualities in its depths. I was completely astonished. On the planet, I remarked, I never heard of such a thing. Human beings have been inattentive for many centuries, Lysias continued. The oceans have kept their planetary home in balance. Potable water has nourished their physical bodies. The rain has supplied them with bread, and rivers are lifelines for their cities. Water's presence offers them the blessing of home and work. However, they continue to think of themselves as the absolute masters of their world, and they forget that before anything else they are children of the Most High. The time will come, though, when they will follow our example and give water its due importance as a gift from the Lord. They will understand that water is a creative fluid that absorbs the mental characteristics of each home's inhabitants. Water, my friend, not only carries the residues of the body, but the impressions of our mental life as well. It is harmful in wicked hands, useful in generous ones, and when in motion, its current not only spreads the blessings of life, but also acts as a vehicle of divine providence, absorbing people's bitterness, hatred, and anxieties, cleansing their physical home, and purifying their inner atmosphere. My partner fell silent in reverence while my eyes gazed at the peaceful current of water that aroused sublime thoughts within my mind.